welcome back to another episode of Dan the Toy Man and thank you for joining. Today I'm going to pop open these two boxes and in this one there's one figure and in this one there's <laughs> there's technically four one two three yeah but there's like more <laughs> don't worry you'll understand when we see it. This was a wonderful delivery from my friend Bob many thanks to you Mr. Bob. Uh, we often do trades buy sell and we basically try to outspoil each other I have no idea we just have the joy of sending stuff to each other a lot uh, to the point where we just got a tally card and we're like well just throw that out we're just gonna keep sending stuff. Today is a matrixy kind of day. Matrixy being part of a plural of matrix. Either way, we have a lot of cool matrix stuff to pop open. Let's just pretend for a moment that matrix four doesn't exist. Ooh, it kind of falls under the same category as, you know, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, which also coincidentally doesn't exist. <laughs> Of the three Matrix movies, I love the first one. I really love the second one. Yes, I know the second one isn't everyone's favorite cup of tea. I, I, I personally love it. Maybe there's just so much nostalgia wrapped into it. Yes, by default, the first movie is everyone's favorite. It had a great amount of science fiction, had a great amount of action, had a great amount of groundbreaking 3D visual effects. It had a great amount of Keanu Reeves in it. But there was a zeitgeist of Lawrence Fishburne, Hugo Weaving, Carrie Ann Moss. It goes on and on and on. Basically, there were a lot of really good things that made the first movie work and it blew people's minds, especially with the, you know, spoiler reveal. The second movie was a really good blend of, oh God, 3D effects. I know the 3D effects now are dated. I, I get that. I get that. Whoa, rub him in. Nostalgically speaking, I love the movie. It's... You, the Burly Brawl is amazing. Hugo Weaving is amazing. He's one of my favorite on-screen villains of all time. Agent Smith. He's got so many great lines. The way Hugo Weaving played Smith. Oh. Apparently he was channeling Walter Cronkite, old radio presenters, like with his voice, which sounded like Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. <clears throat> Mr. Anderson. <laughs> I, Mr. Anderson. I, I look, I, I don't have it. I, I, it's, it's a, mm, eh, ah, Miss, Mr. Anderson. Mr. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Either way, Smith is one of my favorites, and how can you not add him to the collection, right? Oh, God. As, as I was saying, like, I love Matrix Reloaded. Great name, it had a great blend of action and a whole bunch of great effects at the time. To me, it had several of the best action movie scenes in any of the Matrix movies combined. <laughs> Except for four. You had the burly brawl with Neo and Smith. You had the car chase scene. You had Morpheus with a katana slicing a car in half. You had Trinity and the Keymaster on a bike. I mean, the third movie, Revolutions, was okay, but... For me, personally, and I know this is going to be controversial because people are going, why didn't you pick Matrix 1 as your favorite? For me, it goes Matrix 2, Reloaded. I will watch that movie many, many times, and I have. Then it goes Matrix, then it goes Revolutions. And then way far below, there's four somewhere. Possibly under Kingdom of the Crystal Skull because at least that was watchable. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but without further ado, I'm super excited to get all Matrixy with us. So let's do this. Boop. As a disclaimer, this isn't a product review of any sort. This is me just opening up a bunch of boxes with the wonderful audience that is you and sharing the reaction that I get from opening cool toys. All right, there are two boxes. I'm gonna open this one first. And what do we say before we pop open a box? Let's cut away from ourselves. <laughs> a smith a smith army Ooh. i'm excited okay let's pop these open in these boxes are the third party agent smith figures made by toy works however there's a prime smith in here and that head sculpt is done by inigo gill and it's schmick that prime smith is one that i made couple of years ago and then Bob and I did a trade it went to Bob and then finally came back to me and I can't wait to see him again let's share him right now or soon depending on which Smith we pull out Mr. Anderson with the Toy Zero figures you actually got two Agent Smith head sculpts Bob and I had a discussion about how you create a Smith army and quite simply it was 
get another body for that head sculpt and bam, you got the Smith Army. I've always wanted a Smith Army. I've always wanted a Smith Army and this is just so cool. How many? It's like a clown car. More. Me, me, me. Me too. I'm running out of space. You know, I, I find, I find, oh go. I find Smith with teeth, like he's gritting teeth, a little disconcerting. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the ones that are, oops. <laughs> it's kind of like rent a crowd, right? If, if you just don't have any friends to turn up to your uh, birthday party or whatever. Happy birthday, dear Smith. They're all angry. So as a conglomerate, they actually look pretty good, right? So looking a little bit closer at the head sculpt of a Toys Work figure, the only catch with this is that it's, I mean, it's soft on details. Let's be honest here, it is. Primarily, if you're gonna have this as your number one figure, you pretty much point out the lack of details on the soft features relatively straight away. This is his angry head. Does it look like Smith? Absolutely. Is it the best rendition of Smith? No, but then again, these guys are just background fodder anyway, so this is actually pretty good. All of these guys make way for the prime Smith. This is the number one Smith. This is the Smith that has the Inigo Gill head. This is a custom sculpted and painted Smith head sculpt, and he's finally come back home. By the way, that's my gloves. They make a, make a squishy noise when I get too excited. Prime Smith. He's just so good! Oh, you could just, oh my gosh. I'm so happy you're back. Hmm. Check out the head sculpt. Straight up. Those details, right there. Who wore it better? Do 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 do. The sculpting that's been put into this sculpt is just amazing. And honestly, a massive tribute to one of the best screen villains, hands down. These guys are just hanging in the background. They're like, hey. A couple of years ago when I first made this one and then I traded it to my friend Bob, I remember specifically shopping for a pop toy suit for this particular suit. At the time I had bought a head sculpt separately. So basically what I did was buy the head sculpt, get the right suit, get the right body. The body on this particular one is actually a Hot Toys Neo body. And there's a little bit of padding at the top and the shoulders. <laughs> there are so many Smiths. This is fantastic! That is the sound of inevitability. There's also a really great scene in the third movie where he visits the Oracle and then he just straight up, you know, besides saying, Hi mom! Or hi mom! He straight up just throws cookies against the wall and he's like... <laughs> it's just... Woo! He's just uh, off his head. There is also a fan theory going around that Smith is the one. Which I love. I love that fan theory. I love any movie fan theories. But going back and reading the fan theory, which basically indicates that Agent Smith is the one because he was born in the Matrix. He's the one that truly starts a reboot or a revolution or a change. Kind of puts you in a different mindset when you're watching. You're like, huh, I guess so. But also Smith is by far one of the most standout characters. So Also, we have some glasses. So for the purpose of space, I'm going to move three of them away and I'm going to pop open one more surprise here. So this is the type of thing that I'd look at and be kind of terrified with if I hadn't paid my taxes. So wait. Cyber killer. Ooh, this is the third party Trinity figure. Ooh, this box looks pretty cool. <laughs> Let's check out this Trinity figure. Ooh, this is a Fison body. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's actually a really nice Carrie Ann Moss head as well. For third party, that's pretty. Oh, her boot. Third party mass produced head. Wow.
Her eyes really pop on that. Jeez. We've got two jackets. Does that mean like maybe one of the jackets are from the first and second movie? Wow. That light and the uh, vinyl. Woo. Shiny disco. Wow. Uh, surely there's a pair of sunny. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah. The sunnies are good. Okay, wow. I am so solidly impressed with this figure. I'm not even sure which company makes this, but it's Cyberkiller. I know that there were two Trinities on the market. This one, holy cow. The quality in this one is amazing. It's a silicon body. Looks like quality materials. The guns here, like, dodge this. Wow. I... <laughs> I'm going to pop these other guys away. Sorry, other Smiths. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is so amazing. Oh. <clears throat> this body is on the Neo Hot Toys body, which is a true type body, which already has the flexibility. I can feel there that that's a silicon body under there. That is not cheap. Wow. God, it's hard not to get... Jeez, this... I'm just amazed. The figure itself is just standout. The paint apps on this. I love Smith and I was starting off this entire video with a lot of gushing for Smith. Carrie Ann Moss here. This figure? Holy cow! <laughs> I, I didn't know what to expect and this one has blown all expectations out of the water. I didn't have a lot to begin with. I just knew it would look cool but I didn't know the in-hand was going to look this good. Oh my gosh! The quality that's in this one really matches up with a high-end custom. Amazing. Holy mother of pearl. Well, color me impressed. <laughs> I had no idea that was going to look that good. That being said, which is your favorite Matrix movie? As you already know, mine's Reloaded. I did say that at the start. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be comments saying, but how can you like the second one better? The first one was clearly better. Don't get me wrong. I haven't watched the first movie many times, but I've definitely seen the action scenes of the second movie so many times. Also, I forgot there was a fight scene with Seraph, who was the Oracle's guardian, and that was a cool fight too. So many cool fights. But thank you so much for joining me once again for another unboxing. I sure had a lot of fun. I hope you did. That being said, until next time, collectors look after collectors. Be safe, be well, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have I told you how much I like The Matrix Reloaded? Because I do!